So this is a demo for the uh, constructing a uh, source a sand specimens through waterproof reagents or water cementations. Um, we we'll do it with uh, boy, uh, to get, achieve the saturations uh, with uh, boring uh, our uh, sand and water mixture. So we uh, we uh, hot plates and uh, water metric water metric flask, and we just secure it such that like it is safe uh, like during the bo uh, boring uh, process. And we need to predetermine the amount of sand that we need uh, to create the uh, sand specimens. And uh, this can be found by uh, doing a dry pool reaction, so at least by um, uh, uh, by trying a, a, a good start on estimate the amount of it, uh, that you need. Uh, eventually, whatever we, um, we we prepare here, we all go into the sand specimens uh, with uh, the host triaxial samples. So first, uh, we we'll put our sand in the volumetric class. So all the sand should go in. Then we fill up this uh, volumetric flask with water. And we will get to about that, uh, the level that about uh, two thirds from the bottoms. Uh, we don't want to go get too too close to the neck or uh, too much because when you burn, uh, the water can come out. So up to this point, uh, make sure this is secured, fastened, and then we can turn up our hot plates uh, to a boiling degree, um, and then we will boil it uh, completely boil it uh, for at least like a thirty minutes, such that uh, the boiling process help us to get rid of the air bubbles trap. Uh, inside uh, between the sand, uh, inside the sand, uh, within the sand grains. So we will wait there for 30 minutes. So uh, let's say like, you know, now this is uh, uh, all totally uh, uh, boiled for 30 minutes. And then we will, uh, usually we will keep it overnight to wait it to cool down by itself uh, back to the room temperature. And then after at that point, we will continue to fill this up, back up. Just uh, about the the rim of this uh, water metric flask. Meanwhile, like uh, we also need to prepare our pour stones, so we will uh, set our pour stones by submerge them uh, in in water. So everything needs to be wet and saturated. And meanwhile, like uh, for our uh, for our uh, triaxial uh, mold and uh, right here. So this is a, a two-inch triaxial mold. Um, the whole thing has uh, been set up in a way that uh, you have a membrane right there under our uh, rectums. So uh, this will be uh, ready for soils to go in. And before we start, uh, so this is a wretch provision. So we need to fill this up with uh, water. And we will have a water line that comes in uh, from our water source. And it goes into the connections uh, from the uh, bottom part of this dry cells so water can uh, go through our uh, bottom parts and then fill up the whole fill up the whole cells okay here now uh, with this setup uh, with a socket with a piece of socket um, porcelain is inside and uh, we fill up the whole dry cell here or dry cell mold here with the uh, water up to almost at the rim level so the next uh, is we are ready to uh, pull in or to pull wet to rate our sand into uh, this cell right here. So uh, 
with this being like a computer saturated by boiling so um, the water here is all the way to the rim and we use a piece of uh, membrane um, try to wipe uh, close up here with all the waters go out and it becomes a cold system that uh, suppose ideally there shouldn't be any air bubble get trapped right there so with this and then we can upside down our uh, funnel uh, uh, one metric flask and then with this you go into our uh, triaxial uh, setup and then we pull out our membrane and then we let the sand uh, water mixture goes in so the sand will goes in and we place the water there so the well the, the heavier sand will sink down and the water inside the mold will get into the flask so uh, we do it uh, slowly and then uh, ideally with a small drop height hopefully we can see through clean water we can see through um, from the top and then we'll keep doing this so if we need like a uh, do in layers then we really need to have two set of uh, volumetric flask to do it so ideally is at the end of the day you know the exact amount of sand you need and also uh, uh, to free up the whole tracks you cells so by the time you free up all the sand uh, like this case now all the sand goes down and uh, it's exchanged uh, with, the, with the water inside uh, by the time we finish all this uh, hopefully the sand will be right at the, uh, the level of the uh, of, your, of the rim of the tracks itself and after this point you need to do very careful uh, to, uh, bring up your water flask and fill to the, to the, uh, to the uh, water level and then fill with your membrane and take out your uh, water flask and uh, the idea is uh, try not to introduce uh, any air bubbles uh, into your system and then next uh, 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 at this point, the sand level should be almost on the top and then like you will bring a uh, saturated man, uh, piece of like a uh, pour stones right there to put it on top of the sand then you will have a uh, of your top cap ready uh, you will be filling up, fill this with water you will have water comes in for the water line uh, through this top caps uh, Ideally, you should see like a water drop dripping out, and then like you put it up there. And everything will be get done as a, upon the as saturated as possible, and then we will uh, this will be ready to wrap up our membranes and also put in the O-rings uh, as if like a, uh, a dry the samples, uh, and then we can take off the mold and then be ready to test on the tracks of flame.